Hi and welcome, it's Jill Hutchison with your Tuesday message. Today I'm going to be talking about gratitude and the effect it has on our brain. Now before you think, right, you've heard it all, you don't need to know anymore, you're really grateful, that's, that's great. I want to ask you when last you actually wrote in your gratitude journal and when last you listed what you're grateful for. Actually wrote it down, not just verbally said it, but actually wrote it down. There's been a medical study that's been done uh, at the American Psychological Association and uh, they have found that people who write three things down that they are grateful for every single day over eight weeks actually have healthier hearts, they have healthier blood systems, they have a healthier body, their vital signs actually improve. Now this research was done with a study of people who were studying asymptomatic heart illness and they actually found that they got better because of practicing gratitude. Isn't that amazing? I've been thinking of gratitude from a business perspective and from a personal perspective and from a happiness perspective, but now it's actually proven that it actually works for medical reasons as well. I know that the American Journal of Cardiology in 1995 found that there was a link between gratitude and heart variability. So there are over 40 studies that have actually been done on gratitude. Go and have a look at them for yourself. There is also a really good video by Dr. Sood called A Happier Brain. And he talks about how the pursuit of gratitude and compassion is actually a bigger contributing to make, contributor to making you happy than pursuing happiness itself. So if you're wondering how you can get your happy back and how you can actually improve in business, how you can do better, then try gratitude. You know, it really, it worked for me and it might actually work for you as well. Gratitude makes you happier, it makes you healthier. It also makes people like us more. So if you're in business, people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. So if you wanna get people to like you more, be more grateful for what they're doing for what everybody else is doing. So I would be very amiss if I went on and I didn't thank you, my viewers. Uh, I'm very, very grateful for you, for watching this, for spurring me on in my business, for the encouragement that I get from each and every one of you. So thank you very much. And I thank you to Sarah for videoing this for me and to everybody that helps me along my journey as well. Who are you grateful to today? What are you grateful for? And what would you like to have more of that you can be grateful for in the future? Because not only can you use gratitude right now, you can actually use gratitude for the future as well. So when I train people on goal setting and we go through people's goals, we find things that you can be grateful for in the future and use that as part of your goal setting process. Because guess what? Gratitude also helps you achieve your goals quicker. <laughs> So it's quite amazing actually, because I've always thought of gratitude as a bit of a soft, fluffy kind of thing. And when I've looked at business, uh, it didn't really seem, it didn't seem that gratitude and business matched up. But over the last few years, since I've started on the, on the really exercising the gratitude program and writing in my gratitude journal and seeing the difference it makes in other people's lives, I've realized that it's a vital component of business. So it doesn't matter what business you're in, it doesn't matter whether you're working for a company or for yourself, gratitude is a key determinant in your success. I'll encourage you to carry on writing in your gratitude journal. Send me any questions if you have, I'd love to answer them. So you have a great week and thank you for being you, I'm very grateful.